Alrighty, welcome to Lost Grid. Getting started. Uh, a couple of quick assumptions to get out of the way. Uh, the first assumption is that you have a familiarity with NPM, have NPM installed globally, and know how to start a project using NPM. Also, we're going to be using Gulp for these examples. Um, you don't have to use Gulp, you can use other task runners, but we're going to be using Gulp, and it's assumed that you have Gulp installed globally for this. So without that, let's get going. We've got a project here. We've got the project, and we've got terminal, and we're just going to get started with NPM in it. With that, we're going to return through these, because it doesn't really matter for the sake of our project. Is that okay? Perfect. All right. And with that, we're going to run our install command. NPM, we're going to save what we're doing here and install. Like I said, we're going to be using Gulp. With Gulp, we're going to be using post CSS. So we're going to be using the Gulp prefix version of CSS. And then we're going to be using Lost or Lost Grid. On NPM, Lost Grid is Lost. And with that, we're going to NPM install and save all in one command. And we're just going to wait. And we're going to wait. And waiting. With some warning depth all this fun stuff and there we go all that and if we take a look here we'll see that uh, all that has been done along with the node modules installed perfect all right I've got some boilerplate here that we're gonna get going on so we're gonna start with a quick gulp file.js all right and I've got some stuff to copy in and we'll just talk through it all right, perfect. So we're requiring Gulp. Again, it's kind of assumed that the familiarity with Gulp is um, is here, but we're going to talk about how PostCSS would work with this. So we have our styles task right here, and we've got our PostCSS plugin and our Lost Grid plugin. Perfect. And with that, we're going to have PostCSS added. And PostCSS takes an array of whatever tools you want to use. So whatever post CSS plugin you're going to be using. In our case, we're going to be using Lost Grid. Perfect. And that is it. That's the gist of the Gulp file. Looks like we need a main.css, so we're going to do that. Source, CSS, main.css. Perfect. And there's our CSS file. And let's get an index.html as well. Index.html. A project is unfolding. Let's split those two so we can take a look at. Okay. I've got some just simple HTML markup to take a look at here. Just a simple HTML file. Last grid episode one. There's our linking to our file sheet. But no, this is in public. And again, here our destination is going to be public. So from source to public. Perfect. And then I have some content. Content left info and content right info. Don't judge too much on the names. They're just to explain what's going on here. So we'll save that file and let's get going on some CSS. I'm gonna quickly just paste some of this in and we'll talk about it. Again, this is just kind of to get your feet wet, it's not to, to go terribly in depth. That's for, you know, tweet me or issues or just reading the documentation. So we're gonna use Lost Utility Edit and that'll just add some color uh, to our elements so we can take a look at them. I'm using a wildcard, so we'll just put that on every element on the page. Um, our content, this guy, we're wanting to center that at 900 pixels. So using Lost Center, we're gonna do that. And then our content left and content right, we're gonna have those, they're right here, and we're gonna have those at Lost Column, one half. So they'll take up 50% of the space. And then we're gonna put a height on them so that they're visible instead of just being invisible at zero pixels high. With that, Gulp will take that and put it in a new public folder. So let's find out what happens. Perfect, there's a new public folder. Now let's take a look at what that CSS looks like. And there we go. There's that CSS transpiled here. Now, um, Lost takes vanilla CSS. Well, post CSS takes vanilla CSS, but all of this is is just taking these Lost Center, Lost Utility, and Lost Column and transpiling it into width, height, etc. All right, with that, let's take a look at what we got. And Chrome, bring up Chrome, and voila, left, right, 50%, and then they have a default cutter in there. And that is it, getting started with Lost Grid.